Welcome to Hearthfire Tales. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Wasn't like, sure what like, you were looking for there. Ryan, who I, just I didn't, didn't join in at all there. I didn't know what type of Hearthfire it was going to be. So <laughs> it's I didn't always know what a tale. To, uh, it's still a tale. What about the rest of the animal? The rest of the cat girl. <laughs> Hearthfire ears. <laughs> Hearthfire. Did you just refer to cat girls as animals? Fuzzy heads. I mean... <laughs> Uh, animals oh, in the I, oh, no. <laughs> okay <laughs> this is like the fourth time you've opened it with cat girl ryan is really into cat girl i was like, the one who brought a cat girl into it but like it's mostly because of my love obsession thing. for good cat girls no my obsession of your obsession with cat girls I'm not it seeing it on this side of the yeah. table. I'm only seeing the obsession on this side of the See, table. In the I podcast, it, yeah. Go Outside, through the drawers. <laughs> no, I guess for Dylan, it's Naga. That's what it was. Naga, yeah. yeah. Dylan's into snake girls. Yeah, <laughs> that was one bit in a LARP that got way, that got, <laughs> that way far. This has nothing to do with anything that we're talking about here. I think I it does. I hate this intro. Hey, <laughs> welcome back to Left One. To a new place. Oh, I thought what? we were doing lots of one today. What? Nope. It is not. I don't have a name for the world, so <laughs> I'm just gonna name it the town, like the name of the town that's gonna base in, it's a, that it's going to be based in. Even words. Anyways. Good. This is good. This is good radio, guys. So welcome to Everdale. 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 Like not, Emmerdale. Not Emmerdale. Not the farming land. The land, and I, I just use an. I get the source for these because I wanted to use T instead of M for this. Terrific. Uh, so uh, <laughs> a land of toughness, trickery, and the inexorable march of time. Okay. 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 So we're doing a little bit, something a little bit different. We're doing a little, little one shot. It's kind of a little palate cleanser. As three we, shot. As a, it's a one shot in three episodes. Like, like your, Fair enough. like yeah. all, I like them all. Like uh, them all. Well, apart from. Whispering Ashes and Winter Tale, which now are four shots. I should have done a four shot for, or a four episode. Ours are just going to slowly keep getting bigger. Suddenly, yeah, so like know. it'll be like, welcome to the winter campaign. Yeah. <laughs> Whispering Ashes for half the year. Yeah, well. For the next 15 episodes, we'll be bringing you true absolute <laughs> nonsense. Uh, that would be fine if we were doing additional campaigns. Anyway, Everdale, land of toughness, trickery, and time. We're obviously not playing our usual characters. No, we're not. It has been about 20, 25 years or so since our characters have last really been adventuring. And so I would like, let's move to, we'll go with Ryan first. Ryan, could you please introduce your character, give us a feel of what they've been doing since retiring. You guys have, you know, were big enough heroes. You were quite powerful at one point, but you've somewhat faded into obscurity, maybe. A lot of this, uh, yeah. a lot of this one shot is going to be very reliant on what you guys give me. I don't really know what you guys have brought. I kind of just told you guys to like, hey, you're going to be retired adventurers come out of retirement for like one last hurrah kind of thing. So... Please introduce your character and what they're doing in retirement. What's the retirement look like for you? Well, oh, my name's Russ. I regret this immediately. <laughs> I didn't expect him to just use his normal voice. For yeah. The yeah, but could you actually no, put on a character voice? Please, please, please do a character yeah, voice. Like, take, I know this is like a, a nice little levity break from the main campaign, but like, I need you to take it somewhat seriously. Small, but it's so, some small bit no, of no, effort. No, just effort. Just no. a little bit of effort, right? No, no, no. We're just doing this now. Anyway, yeah. Deep South. <laughs> Yeah, so my name is Russ, and uh, back in in the old adventuring days, you know, I like to be a little bit edgy, do some of them warlock spells, just like a little bit of like false life and things like that, you know. Um, bit of fun there. We had a, a a bad old time for a while, and I got I got kind of roughed up. But like, I'm an astral elf. I'm real tall. I'm, I'm gonna live basically forever, you know. So I just been living this high life. Now, when we were adventuring, we had some good old friends of ours we'd made along the way, the, you know, three triplets we were hanging out with for a long time. And during this whole big thing that, that hit us, our three, uh, the three triplets and, uh, you know, our, our good old friend that was always, you know, carrying our packs for us, uh, they got, they got hit real hard. There was a lot of fire and, uh, they got knocked out real bad. And I was like, hey, 
get on back up. What are you doing? No sleeping. And they were like, sleeping. <laughs> so I was like, in the name of the Lich Queen, will you get up? Quit laying around. And they were like, all right, all right, sorry. And they got up. And so we've been hanging out for a while and uh, built ourselves a nice little farm. We just been doing some farming, you know, just the, just the five of us hanging out. Amazing. What are the names of your, your companions here? So we got the three triplets. So that's old Rack, Shaq, and Benny. And yeah, then, sure. you know, they've been hanging out with the other guy, Danny, Danny boy. <laughs> Danny boy. Excellent. Okay. So you're, you're a warlock. I am. I'm a warlock. I'm an astral elf. Warlock. Yeah, so this is a uh, for this is home. Obviously, usually we for Death One, we kind of I'm very much lowish fantasy. Yeah, stick to the core. Race, I told them it? they could be whatever the fuck they wanted and go wild. So I went to the deep south <laughs> <laughs> again. No effort put in. He's just playing himself because um, all Americans send the same. <laughs> What's okay, the so uh, Russ has just got a a nice little ranch or a farm going on. Yeah, we just got a farm. Um, perfect. You're just living at your your days. Yeah. What, what have you... Well, that... we've been spending a lot of times, uh, you know, for, mostly we've been making food for, you know, the surrounding villages and things like that. But uh, lately, we've been, we've been trying our hand at making essential oils and balms <laughs> because uh, I have developed quite a bad rash. Okay, so, yeah. So, you know, quite a bad skin condition. So... Keeping myself covered a lot and, you know, been trying to to take care of that. So we got a nice essential oils business on the side, which I might be trying to sling a bit as we are adventuring. So you're, you've joined an MLM. Well, <laughs> I think I bought some soap from you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the owner of it, so I'm the only one in this pyramid scheme okay. making any money. You're in the, you're in the good position. <laughs> but we'll be trying scheme. to get other people to join. <laughs> Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jim, what, what have you got for me? So you told us to go absolutely wild with our characters. Yeah. Um, but I was preparing a hundredth birthday for someone for the past month and did this all last night. Great. So uh, did you say a hunter's birthday? Yes. She's been hunting people for a hundred years. <laughs> I was like, oh, a hundredth birthday. Oh, that's that's also that's equally also cool. A but terrifying I was like, thing to say she's been hunting people for a hundred years. I was like, what is a hunter's <laughs> birthday? Soon her hunt will end. Um, <laughs> sorry, Eileen. And so will the world. Yeah. <laughs> Soon there'll be nothing left to hunt. interest that we keep her hunting. <laughs> Um, so I, uh, <laughs> I went very spicy with it and I am a halfling rogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're very so, short and I'm very tall. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look, exactly. I, I, I just, I wanted to build where we're going to just, again, you're going to carry me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 no. So I, I have done something very not Jim like and I rolled up a, a semi caster. So, um. Do you even know what a spell is, Jim? Uh, I use them to make words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair. Mm. <laughs> so, um, hold on now. Oh, look, the bumblebee. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Jesse Sloan, and I used to be quite a notable rogue, <laughs> as far as rogues go, in that I wasn't very notable at all. <laughs> How come he's not doing an accent either? I, no, that's very clearly different. <laughs> yeah, I am clearly doing this an is, Irish accent. This is Celtic <laughs> Razor. <right? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we were very notable adventurers, and I took with the party, and I stole everything we need, and I'd break into anything that need to be broken into, and I'd slit the odd troth for the party as well. But, um, you know, when the thing that happened to us happened to us, I too took a little bit of a knock, and I fell into the abyss. And I saw something a little harrowing in that I locked eyes with the Raven Queen and she told me where I was going. But thankfully my friend the Druid revivified me and I decided that I should live a better life. So now I'm trying to make up for all the wrongs I've done. My name is Jesse. Or Earl. Or you're, Earl. Just, you're saying my name is Earl <laughs> as a D and D character. Yes. Great. But um, I have I've opened a spectral owlery, so now I do <laughs> I do spectral owl shows for the children every <laughs> Tuesday and every Thursday. So how many summons have we got? You've got you just, that's a familiar. That's a familiar. Yes. Okay. I often okay. have an invisible hand that helps me out with things because I. I and you've got like four, four all the time. Oh, great. Oh, sorry. Uh, five all the time, because I 
I have my familiar as well. For fuck's sake. It's an imp. His name's Gary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't say, you know, I can't say shit because I, I finished writing this game at a half two last night or something. <laughs> like legitimately on the car over here, I was like, Dylan, I don't know what I'm going to do with this character. And I was like, fine, I'll, I'll just be Earl. <laughs> it's, it's Welsh. My name is Earl. <laughs> Oh, but that's okay because uh, I don't need to do a lot of prep for this game because you guys are going to do some of it for me right now. Okay. So I'm going to ask you some questions. You guys are maybe farming, doing owl shows for the children, <laughs> which I hope is a I, lot more wholesome than it could be. I love a good owl. <laughs> um, Maybe on some of the... The longer evenings, the lonelier evenings, you you sit back and you reminisce about your your good times adventuring and kind of all the heroic or unheroic deeds you did, but the the notable, noteworthy deeds. What what are some of your best memories of adventuring? <laughs> well, I entered a slam poetry contest <laughs> once. <laughs> oh, okay. Caw, hoot. Bodies in the boot. <laughs> I'm owl themed. I don't know. We had a big battle and we all fell down. I'd say my favorite memory that we had was early on, early days. We were we were quite young. We didn't even know what direction we were gonna go. We just know we wanted to go on adventures. And we were level zero. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I set eyes upon the Lich Queen. When we went into a dungeon that we were told not to go into, and I set my eyes upon her, and I knew that was where I would be devoting my life forever. See. And I got to see her again one day when the bad thing happened to us, and she was like, Hey there, Russ. You've been doing some good work for me. Uh, you know, how would you like some new powers? And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, things are a bit dicey out here. And she was like, all right, here you go, honey. And yeah, so those are my best memories, seeing her twice. She is lovely. What was the, um, what were the circumstances that, I'm going to ask Jim this. Yes. What were the circumstances that led you into this dungeon where there was like a statue or some sort of shrine to the Lich Queen? No, oh, she like, was there herself. That she was there herself. Like what? Because you know, like, there's always like an inciting moment in the task, like, like someone lost oh, their keys or no, something, I do. and then I like remember. everything. It's no. what was like the no, what was the, the arrogant event? troll king Odysseus. He was attacking Bulmeria. It's a small town, and we weren't strong enough to beat him on our own. So we had to go into this dungeon, and we had to find an orb of fucking. And what that would do <laughs> is let us be strong enough to really <laughs> fuck him up. He, Perfect. Uh, absolutely perfect. It's also no, I won't say anything that's gonna spoil something, but this is this is this is this is great. <laughs> okay. Um So there's something like your you know, I'm gonna say that that's maybe because uh, I had two questions. One was your best memories of adventuring, and the second was gonna be what was your favorite adventure? But I think you guys more answered that question. So give me some like kind of just standout general moments, maybe of adventuring, like, you know, anyone who you saved or it saved you or a particularly nice bit of loot you took from a dungeon or someone that you say, like, you know, a town that you saved that you a party in your honor. What what are the kind of, like, what are the big, like, what's, like, the highlights of your career as an adventurer? Artoria set himself on fire once. <laughs> <laughs> a keyboard? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, almighty all right. Yeah, we, we were fighting an ice troll. Yep. And uh, we were having a hard time taking him down because we weren't doing enough damage. He just kept healing. And so <laughs> our bard, Arturia, yeah, he just said, flame on. You know what? Fuck it. And just lit himself on fire <laughs> and went running right at this troll. Gave him a big old bear hug. Perfect. Fucked him up nice and proper. Okay, great. Another another favorite was uh, that one time when, you know, we were running a little bit late. We kept messing up all those puzzles, but we finally got there in time to uh, to save the princess. But 
she was sleeping. She was in a big old heavy sleep. And that was the first time that I found that if I really yelled at people, they'll listen to me. And I was like, Princess, in the name of the Lich Queen, you better get on up. <laughs> and she stood up and she went on with us back to the kingdom. I still don't understand why we ended up having a warrant for our arrest at that kingdom <laughs> when we saved the princess. Like, a day later, they were all mad at us. Wow. I, I'm understanding now. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm understanding now. <laughs> yeah, so some elements of Ryan's characters are coming to light here. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite tavern? Maybe it's a tavern, because of, of course you all met in a tavern first. It's the only way that Adventures of Your Age ever could meet for the first time what was the name of that tavern liverpool <laughs> <laughs> i am the barman brum wasn't it <laughs> yeah what? hold on what's the, I, I can do a football the barman clop isn't that the the yeah. liverpool guy yeah, yeah. yeah. jorgen yeah per it, perfect it was up north it was yeah mm. and Okay, I, I had down here what was the first thing that brought you all together, but I think you you had said that it was the um, it was the arrogant troll king Odysseus, uh, and you oh, just go. Oh no, that was in the middle of our career. Okay, so oh, what, no. was, what was we, the, what was the first thing that brought you together? We were in primary school together. All of you, like all of us, ev everybody, every, every single prun. Uh, yeah. Our entire class was the party. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Magic school bus. I, <laughs> That's how our party got started. The magic school carriage. I, you know, I I should have foreseen this level of fuckery when I came up with the concept of this. But you know what? This is all this is all perfect. This is so all perfect. our first adventure was Jurgen had rats in his basement. Oh, an absolute classic. Mm. Mm. Um, such a classic. Mm. Okay, you guys are doing whatever you're doing, retirement wise. You're Doing your L shows, you're hey, tending to your show. crops, you're trying to convert people to your pyramid scheme. Mm. And uh, one morning. It's trickle down economics. <laughs> it's the same thing. That's what I said, Ryan. That's what I said. You both, well, you guys are separate, but for the purpose of this, simultaneously, you, you both hear a familiar. You guys are all very, very used to magic. Magic is like very very prevalent in this society like you getting a sending spell like there's so so much so that like i'm gonna say that there are people who go around selling enchantments to stop unwarranted sending spam. spells like yeah. you get are just getting spammed for people like trying to sell insurance and things like that um and so you've probably got gotten some of those enchantments but one comes true to you which is unusual because you know it's the equivalent of you actually getting a phone call from a number you recognize someone that's mm. saved in your in your brain magical phone book brain. and you hear a little <laughs> tone also known as brain <laughs> yeah you hear a, a message and you recognize the voice of your old wizard friend calendria and calendria was a half elf and not a full one like me not I a full to, one yeah. no um and you hear just kind of a, it seems like it's like a generic message coming out because it's not directed to you individually uh, and you hear dearest friends finally after all these long years of life i have found something truly special and want nothing more than to share it all with you i know that some of you may be dead and sadly cannot heed this message but for those of you still alive please i beg of you gear up once more and join me in everdale to cancel the Thursday Owl show. <laughs> okay, I suppose. I'll send out one of those spam messages to everybody and be like, <laughs> sorry folks, Thursday Owl show is cancelled. It would seem my past has caught up with me a little bit and I have to go and sort something out. And I hit tweet. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> or hoot, I send out a hoot. <laughs> Hoot. That, that, that's very good. Take, take inspiration for that. <laughs> I, think, I think it's the first time I've ever given inspiration out on this podcast. <laughs> but that, that was good. That's that's what gets inspiration. <laughs> uh, how does Russ react to this message? Boys! Boys, get on up! 
Alright, get on up. I'm tired of how every morning I'm the one who has to wake all you up. Nobody's ever getting up to do the chores. I gotta go around and wake each of you all up individually. Looks like we got somewhere to go. One of our good old friends is liking for us to go. So we need to start packing the bags. Yeah, you're uh they De- shamble De- together. Definitely alive friends. <laughs> oh, it's like shamble up everything. Shamble is exactly the word. Yeah. <laughs> um, they all seem as if they're just like, you know, very, very groggy. Can't, can't even string full sentences together yet. They got that seven year shadow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, start packing up your bags and things like that. Yeah, we're, we're happy to go. We always love seeing a friend. And Emmerdale. Oh. <laughs> Pack up the uh, Everdale, sorry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead and pack up that other cart, Danny boy, because uh, I, I I think we might be able to sling some, you know, essential oils when we get there. So, uh, yeah, so Danny's like, of course, sir. Right away, I will pack that for you. <sighs> I hate this character. <laughs> These characters already. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> You guys have to actually ask around for Everdale. It's not a town name that you are familiar with. Um, but first I'm going to ask, do you guys, you, you know that it was a group message sent out and you probably know that it's only the three of you that are. Can we like click on the message and see who it's been seen by? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's it's only been seen by the two of you. Okay. Um, Russ, you if you've also clicked on this message somehow, uh, was just fuck you. You have you have smartphones. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just you, have, you full on have magical smartphones. Obsidian tablets. They're just yeah, yeah just, just yeah. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, obsidian tablets. You, yeah, you you notice that. Shack, Rack, Danny, and whoever else your other friend was haven't seen it or something. <laughs> they yeah. wouldn't be part of the... Okay, the, okay. They were just like the hirelings, right? Were yeah, they? Yeah. Okay, they okay. Were they, they were core party members. So yeah. to put this out, right, just so I understand what's going on. Yeah. Our, our like, entourage bit the bullet and you inadvertently res them on our... Yeah, these were just like, you know, you know how every adventuring party, if you go on too long, you end up with stragglers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like some the, the NPCs and, you know, and shit you know, that tag along. The yeah, other yeah, NPCs yeah. that the DM was like, oh, I wish these weren't here. There's so much effort. To like. <laughs> and so like our the DM. The one NPC, the character party are just like, you're coming with us. Yeah. You're ours now. Yeah. And so our DM was like, no, they're, they're, they're dead. The fireball got them too. And I was like, aha. <laughs> no, they're just sleeping. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so here's another question for you. Mm. Do Russ and Jesse keep in contact? I like to think so. Yes, I'd, sometimes I'd send a little owl over and I'd, you know, drop some, some, a little care package to take care of them. Yeah. So would you have like texted each other to be like, Oh, let's meet up on the road, or do you think I, you're going to? I only direct message on Hoot. It's for the brand. <laughs> Sorry, do you do you Hoot ask? But I'm thinking of rebranding it to Why. <laughs> Very topical. Um, so, do you guys want to meet up on the road there, or do you want to meet up there? What way do you want to do this? I think I'm going to send Albert Einstein over to uh, to Russ's house with just a little uh, Hoot that says like. I assume you found the ah, God damn it, there's a bird in the house! Get this bird out of here! Ah, get it, ah. oh. oh, it's Albert. Oh. <laughs> uh, and it's like, a little, he opens his mouth and my voice comes out. Um, and it says, Hello, Russ. Tis me. How are you? Why do you look like a bird? This is a pretty recorded message. I'm assuming <laughs> you're trying to converse with the bird right now. Oh, right, right. So... Just to let you know, I think we should probably meet at the Owl Triangle. If indeed it is your intention to head out to see our Ain't that that thing that goes jingle jangle? It goes jingle jangle all along the bay. That's right. All right. Yeah, okay. Well. I'm assuming you asked if that's the thing that goes jingle jangle. (laughs) Now, what if we go to to Berta's place instead? I'm assuming you're asking if we should take the carriage in that case. Yes, we should take the carriage. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. 
<laughs> All right. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is coming back now. Ta-ta. No, wait. Is it? Is it Bertus or, or the Owl Triangle? <laughs> He's gone. <clears throat> Sir, ah. I believe that that was just a recorded message, <laughs> so we should go to the Owl Triangle. Otherwise, your friend will not be there. Are you sure? Yes, sir. <laughs> just... <laughs> like, Why do DMs DM? actively try to avoid speaking to themselves. I got and, so he, and Ryan's dice. like, I'm just going to make an entire party by myself so <laughs> yeah. I can be a one man podcast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, you guys meet up at whatever the fuck the old triangle is. You should know that. It's your world. <laughs> you, you, you guys have already made more of this world than I have, friends. Have we seen each other in person since? Uh, I think we have a few times. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see you rocking up and I'm going to say, Ah, Ross, it's good to see you again. Have you, have you found time to... To get yourself out to the doctor like I've... <laughs> oh, it, well, you see, found something better than the doctors. See, doctors hate me for this one <laughs> trick. <laughs> Does he get an inspiration? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's, that's good. <laughs> Pull out my vial, my latest essential oil. Just rub this on your skin. And maybe you'll live as long as an astral elf. Look at, I mean, you know, I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> uh, is he looking fresh? <laughs> um, I've got my hood up very much. <laughs> like, Give very... me a perception check. Ooh, first roll. Or a medicine check. <laughs> oh, okay, I think I have uh, yeah. a 23. He doesn't look great, but like, it looks like whatever malady he has that you kind of referred to him to the doctor has is getting getting a little worse but you can't quite pinpoint exactly well, what's wrong with him yeah. yeah but you just know that he should be figuring it out i take the vial and be like ah very good um i'm just going to i'm going to hand it to alexander the great and he'll fly back into the carriage shack runs up to you and goes yes we would ask that you do not hug master as a <laughs> as a he is feeling very fragile lately <laughs> I'm full aware that Shaq is a zombie. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. you know Shaq. Uh, Shaq, like, Shaq you, you saw some Shaq die. <laughs> Danny, Danny and is a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember the flesh and guts being seared off your skeleton all right. Ah, uh, Shaq, how, how this is... This is so dumb, I love it. How, how is, um, how is non-life treating you? Shh, we do not say that out loud. <laughs> right, you're right. The farming life. Oh, yes, the farming life is quite good. And Rat comes up. Yes, we are very much enjoying the farming life. Have you tried our new cocoa butter? <laughs> I, I think, is that the one you sent to me in the envelope not too long ago? Yes. That's absolutely right. I actually gave it out as a prize in one of my owl shows and then I received a complaint that the child came up in hives and almost <laughs> died. So mm. that one may need a little more um, work. Oh, that might have been the batch that Benny's arm fell into. Ah, we got as yes. much out of it as we could. That would probably do it. Yes, the word pox was mentioned. Okay. <laughs> You guys reunite, reminisce over failed so far multi-level marketing schemes. Hmm. <clears throat> you seem like you're getting a bit older there after all these years. Like you should really start using some of that skin cream because uh, you know you wanna you wanna stay as young and alive as I am. Actually, in the aviary business, crow's feet are seen as a bonus. How long? Do, how long do you halfling live? Oh, two, three hundred years. <laughs> 350 to 500 years, actually. Oh, actually, that's in a bit the better. owl business, the life expectancy goes down considerably. <laughs> I, <guess so. laughs> I, I like that we're going to be spending lots of years together, though. Not exactly. as many as me. I'm, I'm going to be alive for a long time. Yes. Yes, you are. You are an astral elf. I remember when you fell from the sky as just a wee baby. 
of course, and then <laughs> and my and my parents in the Sue and, uh, and and or no, not Sue, Martha, 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 and, and, John. Martha and John. That's right, and they didn't really have time for you, so you were left in the play school with us an awful lot. Yeah. And I remember we used to misty step around the place. Oh, we gave we gave Miss Margie such trouble. I'd misty step up onto the roof, and as soon as she'd get me down, you'd astral step up there as well. <laughs> we knew we had more spell slots than her, you see. <laughs> oh. Who was that, Mrs. Margie? Miss Margie, yes. Miss, it's a Miss Margie. terrible, frightful shame what happened to her. If only I'd been there to yell at her to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yelled at her to get up. It didn't work. <laughs> and now I see her every night when I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to say that this... She is- taught us so much. <laughs> But I'm going to say it. The, the, the greatest lesson she ever taught was about the flammability of certain liquids. You guys are having this conversation as you take your um, uh, super arcane friendly wagon uh, taxi to towards Everdale, and the the Brentley Corp worker who's like driving is. Um, I'm going to say that they are a, like, a plasmoid person. Yeah. Um, I love how hard we're leaning into Spelljammer. <laughs> yeah, just fuck, just wild shit, because why not? I don't I don't get to do it often, so, like... Yeah. I'm going to say, canonically, this is in the Lethuan universe, so somewhere in wild space. Sure, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say maybe in... No, I... Yeah, sure. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not canonizing anything. <laughs> As we go down the road, we see the circus on our right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's that circus. We should we, set up. That's Vespuccio's see... like, centuries old circus. Yes. Yeah. Vespuccio, who's known to travel time and space <laughs> and has canonically appeared on every realm. Yes. <laughs> uh, I hate you. Um, the, uh, yeah, this plasmoid worker. Um, they are... You know, they're like, oh, yes, Everdale. That's that's a new place, I believe. Um, not getting quite many people out there. I don't think the, the name's quite got out around this town, but I can certainly bring you. Um, and they, like, crack a whip and the car no, starts they well moving. crack their arm as a whip. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, okay, sure. That's exactly what a plasmoid would do. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. And this... Uh, this weird space-looking car, fan- like fantasy car, starts driving along. That's a Pretty that's good. a that's a good fantasy car noise. I'll give you that. Thank you. And uh, you come across uh, Everdale, and it seems to be a modest town, and as the name would suggest, it's set in a large open valley. There is like you know, <laughs> a, like a medium-sized river running through it. It's surrounded by forests of evergreen trees stretching up into the mountains. It looks quite idyllic, to be honest. On the outskirts, as you're driving through, you pass through like farmland and pastures where there's like sheep and goats and other fantasy sheep and fantasy goats. They just have <laughs> like eight horns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight horns, seven legs. They look like an AI has drawn them and hasn't, you know, doesn't know what it's doing. There's nice. a plasmoid bull. Just, yeah. Um, all these kind of just like weird things. There's like crops that like grow from the side of space and stuff just in there. Just, just you know, just all all the usual things. It's stuff that Russ is intimately familiar with. Like you know, you're, of course, you probably know all the techniques that they're using. Um, I see this sideways growing stuff, and I'm like, ah, they're even gentrifying the valleys now. <laughs> Um, and as you get closer to town, you do see that it is mostly surrounded by walls, which not unusual for a town of this size out in the wilderness. Um, and overshadowing it just kind of away, just a ways outside the town on the opposite side of it. You see, it's just, it's clearly a fucking wizard's tower. It's just like the most wizard's tower you, could, wizard's you could imagine, tower, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, However, it does look a little bit like run down or dilapidated where everything else in the town is like quite picturesque. There's like, you know, hatched roofs next to, you know, like roofs with like arcane crystals for generating energy and stuff. So like it's 
you know, everything's like very well to do and well kept. Um, well, that's the problem with ordering your wizard tower from Arkea. <laughs> Everything only lasts two or three years. You enter- I hate putting that stuff together myself. <laughs> oh, I have the owls do it for me. Oh, I don't do it either. It's the boys, though. But every morning I have to go up and wake them up. As you enter through the gates of the town, we're like 30 minutes in. We haven't even gotten to Everdale yet. Hey, this is what the, this is what the audience <laughs> wants. Yeah, no, no. This, you asked for this. Oh, no, John. honestly, this is exactly on track to what I was hoping. <laughs> um, the, uh... I just love when you roll for no reason. <laughs> you get to the gates of the to town and a little guard um pops out and they are a, a goblin um like a some sort of is there a space go- you know more about space jammer stuff than me it'd it's, be there's not space like, goblins but there's like mechanomes a, even better yeah this little mechanome kind of like clanks out the little halberd kind of stops the car and is like Excuse I was me? so hoping that was going to be the voice <laughs> it has to be excuse me there is no driving in the town but oh Oh, you must be... And, like, you know, he kind of, like, his, like, legs extend up as if he's <laughs> yes. a robot so you can see in the in the windows of the car. And he's like, oh, oh, you watch the description. is perfect. You must be, you must be Russ and you must be Jesse. Um, That's right. Yes, I, we've got, I've got orders to uh, bring you right to uh, Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, unfortunately, your car can't come in, but uh, we are happy to have you, um, happy to uh, escort you. Gary it, flies it, out and starts flying around like his little legs and everything. He goes, Master, what is it? Can we eat it? Uh, it gives Gary a little bonk over the head and be like, <laughs> oh, step back, step back. Because <laughs> oh, he has a little halberd. Yeah, he? yeah. <laughs> Just like, bonk. Um, no eating for you? Um, I am... But despite my appearance as a mechanome, I actually am a fully humanoid, uh, organic being inside this. Uh, this is just a Estral Max mech suit with extendable legs. Bonk, bonk. Uh, please stay away. <laughs> um, uh, if you'd like to, please follow me and uh, don't, don't don't forget to tip your driver. I'm sure they did great work. And the plasmoid little holds out his little hand expectantly. I put like two copper in it. Yeah, fine. He, yeah. He, does it just go into the tentacle and then like up yeah, the arm? Yeah, you, you, and... you see that he actually has like a wallet like in his like stomach somewhere. Yeah, that like you put it into his hand and it just travels down his like arms and it's like slowly opens into it and puts it into his wallet. The absolute temptation to pickpocket that wallet, like <laughs> my whole career, it's like oh my god, he's not even hiding it. <laughs> Give it a jar of honey. Um, you see that they're like, you trying to change uh, it yellow? Thank, thank you. Uh. <laughs> I guess I'll... This, this is, like, real good for plasmoid. This is or, organic material? Yeah. Uh, I, I can digest it. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you see it kind of just, like, pours some onto its head, and it kind of, like, starts, like, digesting into his body, and he starts driving away. <laughs> it's like he has a bouffant inside his head. I don't know what a bouffant is. <laughs> it's like that, that French noble haircut from, like, yeah. the 1500s. Sure. Tell your friends where yeah. you got it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and yeah, so uh, little uh, Jeremy, the gnome in a mecha suit, is like, Well, if you can please come with me, I'll bring you to Liverpool. Right. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he. I'm gonna. I'm getting tired from these, like, couple of steps of walking. Can I climb on your back? No. Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep being tired, so. Oh, are your your little oh, legs? Oh, I climb here? on him. I climb yeah, on I him. Yeah, I can give you a little. I want little a piggyback. Platform. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, he uh, he's quite used to like. You get the feeling he's quite used to like you know, basically portering for people and stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. So he summons like a tensor floating disc, and you can go and just sit on it, and he'll. He I'm on his along. shoulders. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's he, his mecha suit gives him the strength to do that. No bother. <laughs> um, and uh, you start walking along, and you get to Liverpool. <laughs> Give me history checks. Oh, that's not good. Um, seven. Nineteen. God, it's a fucking big dice. Uh, Russ, <laughs> you, um... It's got a chicken the in mama it. hen in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Russ, you, uh... 
obviously the name is incredibly fam familiar to you. The name is familiar to you as well, Jesse. But not only is the name familiar to you, but just the whole layout is almost identical to what you remember all those years ago when you first, you know, met, when you first met Jesse, when you first met Calendria, when you first met, you know, whoever else was in your party, the, the druid that revived um, Jesse. What was, what was their name? Bartholomew. Bartholomew. <laughs> That's um, the name of the wizard that I killed. Yeah, he ashes. also set himself on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it all ties together. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, it's weird. You know, it's like, it's unusual. What and, in the world? And this, this does not seem like a healthy mindset Kali is in. And you see that the door opens and you see Calendria just... She's so stereotypical wizard, you know? Like, she's got the pointed hat, she's got the robes, everything she's, she's wearing is like, you know, a deep royal blue, you know, really, really fine, like, silks and laces. Like, you guys were all rich after your years of adventuring. You know, you guys had so much money, and, like, it looks like she's very still doing well for herself and is still kind of, like, keeping up appearances, at least, and, like, you know, has really, really, like, fine clothes on. Um, Her face is, like, Showing her her years a bit, uh, how you know half elves live to maybe 150 or so, so you know a, a lot less than what you guys would live live to, and you know she is showing age. Well, maybe not showing age as much as <laughs> as Ross, <laughs> but Ross can live a long time. Um, but she still seems to be like you know spry still. She is carrying a staff, but you know that that staff is like her magic staff, and yeah. you, you, you've seen her like you know. Give people a whack on that. You've seen her cast spells and through it. She's not using it to walk, but she has it with her. And she opens the door. And she's like, finally, my friends. Oh, it's so good to see you. And she like, she runs over, gives you a big hug. Uh, Jesse runs over to give you a big hug. One of the guys gets in front. No, we do not hug the master. Oh, Okay, oh, hey, you look familiar. What's your name again? Yes, I am Rack. I remember you well, Cal Caladria. Calendria. Calendria. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, you... You tended to the horses. Yes, I, I... along with my two brothers. And you, you see, she kind of like... She looks a bit as if like, she's like, I, sh I should have remembered that, you know? Like, she's kind of a bit like, ah... Oh. Okay, yeah, and sorry, okay, your two brothers. So you're Rack, you tend to the horses. Who, who, who are your brothers? Yes, I am Shaq. Shaq, I don't remember you sounding like that. Did you always sound like that? Yes, this is my voice. Okay, and are you the skeleton one? No. Okay, who's the skeleton one? Danny Boy. Danny, Danny Boy okay, is the yeah. skeleton, yeah. Uh, Shaq, okay, oh, uh, yeah, you, you're the bag man. You, actually, no, I do remember you. You carried those bags so well. You, yes. You did that. Uh, okay, and then who else have we got? <laughs> I am Benny. Okay, Benny. Um, <laughs> I am the youngest. We are all triplets. Yes, but still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I No, I do remember you, and I actually blocked you out of my memory. <laughs> but we were best friends. Uh, okay, yeah, we, ha we had some time. Do you to... remember the kiss we shared? <laughs> <laughs> Under the moonlight. Benny, I, Benny, I, I, I said... years uh, ago. Benny come, Be Benny, come here for a second. Benny, come here for a second. Oh, yes, sorry, guys. Hold sorry, me guys. in your arms again, Galandria. <laughs> Benny, I Many I, a night I have dreamt of you before all Benny, memories faded. I know, you're, all I know you're fucking dead. I know every... you don't dream anymore. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. We don't say that. Everybody just goes, oh. <laughs> yeah. Master I, does we, not I, I, Like, she's pulled him aside. Master does not understand. It will upset him. Oh, why, why would it upset Shh. him? Do you, have you not seen under Master's hood? It's been, it's been years. It's been like 30 years since I've seen. Do you me? not remember the night that it happened when we all fell? All of us. Yeah, well, of course I remember that night. Master doesn't. He believes he was given power, that he did not fall. But it was the master's. It was. <laughs> master, it was Russ's bond with Lishkin that made that. He's why we're all alive. <laughs> all of us are alive. Yes. You know what I mean. 
Oh, hey, nah. ben, look, Benny, we'll, we'll talk about this later. And one of you just, isn't. Just, Benny, just answer, answer this question real quick for me. Is everything still down there for you? <laughs> <laughs> Rigor mortis is set in. <laughs> That's too much information, Benny. <laughs> Always! It's too, it's too Especially early. when I think of you. <laughs> <laughs> I want out of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went down that path. <laughs> okay, I'm going to request that Russ stay, keeps you away from me. Russ, would you keep this one away from me? Yeah, sure. Th- yeah. Th- thank, I thanks, mean, Russ. Okay, so why I'm... Look, I... I Got way too caught up in these side characters. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you haven't you, spoken to how me is your, yet. How is your uh, who NPC are you? I am Danny, Danny Boy. It was yeah. clearly just a skeleton. Yes, well, <laughs> D- Danny, you're a skeleton. I'm sorry, I can't remember you. You're a skeleton. <laughs> you should remember me. Why? I tended to everyone's weapons. Oh, I, I don't have weapons. I just had a staff. I kind of let the magic tending to that. I'm sorry. You just don't ha- you don't ha- hold that much of a, a space in my... My memories. It was. It's all Danny boy. typical. It's did all... you sign her weapon like you did everybody else's? Of course. Tally, why don't you look on the bottom of your staff? Oh my God, a little DB. <laughs> How could I have missed this? DB on? was here. <laughs> it's on my short sword as well. Okay. Well, look. look we're look. We're all side. Come, come inside Liverpool. Come into Liverpool. Um, and I have to say, this is a little unsettling. You've recreated our childhood. Well, it's not our childhood. This is our childhood. If if Mrs. Mar- Margie was here and... Sorry, I forget. I live a lot longer than you. My childhood is considered up until about the age of 70. Okay, well, I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not quite that old. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. But, yeah, you know, we, we had adventures. We were in our prime, you know. You weren't a child when we, you know, when we fought Odysseus, the, the troll king and... No, he was a wily one. He was do you remember one. we needed to get the orb of fuckening to fight him? That orb of... Uh, do I remember that orb of fuckening? Something wild. That we did. Woo! Woo! And <laughs> Benny remembers an anyway. Army. Do you remember the army of cyber-toot tigers that he brought to bear on us? <laughs> they- and also the army of bears he brought to tiger on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. They were... They were wild. They, Remember they them really, bear tigers I, that kept asking, why does it hurt? Yes. <laughs> yes, that Look, was a dark I'm so, night. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I up. just had to experiment, and they were the results, and yeah, they, they're gone. They're gone. Calindria. Why does it hurt, Calindria? <laughs> I remember they told us that all they know is pain. <laughs> is that what you were going for, Go inside, have Calindria. some drinks. Uh, Look, um, you're gonna you bring these uh, all their bags and stuff upstairs, or do you want Benny and Danny and all to do that? Boys, yeah, you go on. You take take the stuff up there. Uh, you guys all just start. You know, I'm not very hungry. No, but like food is still brought to you. Drink is brought to you. I'm not very thirsty. It's like you know, it's like in the evening or so, and you guys I'm, just spend. I'm famished. <laughs> You can have mine. Thank you very much. You guys just spend a lot of time just catching up, you know, reminiscing, you know, swapping stories of, um, you know, all the great times that you've had and stuff like that. And do you remember when we put Featherfall on Bart and pushed him through a series of looping portals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, two- was, he was falling for it. Oh. 14 hours before yeah. we broke the loop I, he, Oh, I've never seen somebody puke so much in my he, life. And he was falling for so long, he shot himself. Falling. It was so funny. And then had to fall with it. Oh, and he kept and getting in his mouth and he kept puking yeah. again. You couldn't see him for the stream of liquid. <laughs> uh, Gross. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I drink to Bartholomew. To Bartholomew. I have Owl Pacino swipe me a glass from the bar and... Yeah, I take a classier glass for Bart. Um, uh, to to Artoria, remember he set himself on fire. Mm. That was great. Oh yes. Ah, oh, look, I'm I'm so glad that you that you could make it. And look, I'm I'm sorry that you know we we don't have the full full gang here. But I'm I'm glad that at least the two of you could be here. And look, as I said, in, I'm I'm glad you got my message. I'm glad you know. The, I got you the spam filters. That's 
that's good. Uh, well done on Hoot, by the way. Hoot's going great. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, um, multinational. <laughs> we're, ex- uh, we're starting to begin to expand into other planes of existence. Excellent. I mean, I just feel the El- Elm's plane has been ignored for too long. It They've has. got a lot of interesting a things to talk about. A lot of the over there are fire. Straight <laughs> fire. Straight <laughs> fire. Some of it, Sorry, a lot some of the of it, hoots over there. Some of it is a lot of hot air, but you know, yeah. Exactly. And yeah. you know, they tweet the hoots can be a little watered down as well. Sometimes. But some of them really rock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but look, look, I'm just so glad that you are you all are here. And yeah, you're right. This I, I've recreated. Liverpool, this is... Can I ask you why you did that? Because it seems a little bit unhealthy, if you ask me. Is it? Mentally, yes, it is. What? You should be looking forward to new adventures and not trying to dwell in the past. The adventuring days are... I think they're behind us. You know, we're... Every we've day all... is a new adventure in we've... the Howlery. Yeah, but we've all seen we've all seen better days, and I'm not... I I'm not getting any younger. look at Russ. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm loving life. Life is great. I've been living my best life. But look, I, I'm, I'm a god, and I just, I, w- I want to give you guys a present, a gift. And you know, we made a, a lot of money from adventuring. You know, I, oh, yes. I put mine into a, a, you know, you know me. I always did the books. I put mine into a solid 401k. I've my investments have done extremely well for myself. And you've diversified the assets, I see. Yeah, I like look, this entire town, Everdale, this is my gift to you. I I'm not like you both. My my human blood, you know, I'm only half elf. I'm not I'm not like you, Russ. I'm not gonna live for a millennia or so. Mm. I, I I'm not destined for a long life. And what else can I do with all the money that we made from adventuring? You know, in this town, it's not my magic that's the power it's it's my money it's this and like there's like a a tip jar on like the (laughs) on the the bar and you see like it's so unnecessary like you know just fancy it's got like you know just like ornate runes and like gold stuff on it she's like and there's like you know um just like coins and so it's like it it's this you know starts sweating at the (laughs) at at, at seeing that i'm doing better now i'm doing better (laughs) like this is my power here i've I've made this town myself. I've I hired people to build it. I gave them houses. I've given them livelihoods. Given them what they need. But like, they can't give me what I need. What I miss is you all. I, I miss the adventures and the excitement. I just want you know, you to, you guys to be able to be here. You don't have to stay here, but like, I just want you here to so we can at least meet up and share in our excitement. And you know, uh, I, I miss those days. I know they're behind us, but I, I miss them. Calandria. There was never anything to say you couldn't visit us. Now, no amount of financial wizardry will ever reclaim those feelings, but I have to say it is good to be in your presence again. Yeah, I'm always happy to come and hang out, watch y'all have a drink. Well, you know me, I'm, off the, me, I'm off the alcohol now. The, trans, the transference of this town onto us, is that tax deductible? Or <laughs> how are we... How is this happening? Oh, well, I mean... I, I can handle all the taxes. Oh, thank you that's, very much. That's fine. You, you, you won't you know, be out of pocket for this. I robbed a lot of people, but I don't have a patch on the tax industry. <laughs> <laughs> it is it, it, it is quite profitable to own an entire town, I will say. Um, people say when you come into a lot of money, you buy shopping centers. No, buy entire towns. It's, it's even better. Um, but look, it's, look, it's getting late. I'm going to... I'm gonna head back to my tower. Just I've got the best sweets. I know we didn't stay in them in the first time we were in Liverpool, but you guys have the the absolute best sweets here. Um, there's the even room for for Danny and Benny and I think she's talking them. about Maynard's wine gums. <laughs> yeah, I don't um, eat sweets. Okay, well, um, you know what I mean. <laughs> Rooms. Um, so look, everyone, if you all just sleep well and look tomorrow. You know, look, let's let's meet up together. I'll, I'll show you around and... Absolutely. That would be incredibly pleasant. I look forward to our morning. Now tell me, is there a continental breakfast or...? Uh, of course. Yeah, of Fantastic. course. Fantastic. Now you go get some rest. You're not getting any younger. Yep. Uh, you don't have to remind me about that. Thank you. Off you thought. And she leaves. Um... Got rid of that NPC for us, right? 
<laughs> one key have you seen? <laughs> Back to the nonsensical ones. Tell yeah. me, Bash. <laughs> uh, so you guys go to bed for the night. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't sleep. I've got something very important to do. Okay, what do you I've do? I've got a bit of giving back to do. So every time I reach a new town, I'll I'll do the rounds at night like a reverse Santa. Or actually like a regular Santa Claus. I'm going to just leave a little platinum on every... On every, I'm going to break into every home in the town and I'm going to leave a little bit of money on every fire site for them and just try and pay it backwards so I avoid the awful, awful place I saw when I got knocked out that time. Um, and all the time I'm going... <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Why, why, why are we doing that? <laughs> I have to give back. I have to make up for all the bad I've done. I'm assuming that was like the My Name is Earl theme song. It is indeed, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, You guys wake up in the morning or just get out of bed. I gotta bed go around morning. and wake everybody up. Jesus. Yeah. Do uh, I see this? Do I see him waking them up this time? Uh. It depends. You would have separate rooms, but it's up to you if you feel particularly... Like, obviously, your very first time in the Liverpool would have been in just, like, a shared dorm room. It's probably all you could have afforded at the time. So it's up to you if you think you would like to, you know, relive that type of memory or if you'd like to have Are we going for nostalgia or are we going for comfort? Nostalgia. Nostalgia. We're in the same shitty room. Then, yeah, you see... Russ walking around and yelling at people to In the name up. of the Lich Queen, would you all ever get up? I'm trying to wake the dead in here. Do I see anything beyond him you, just shouting you, at them? You can cast spells. Yeah. You fully know what a spell looks like when it's being cast. <laughs> by, so by I the just way, see you raising all these fucking corpses then. <laughs> yeah. By the way, the whole time, you know, you thought it would be a nice, like, reminiscent sleep, you know, and everything. Um, but uh, while you slept, I don't sleep, so I just sat on the edge of the bed, like staring <laughs> in my trance. Russ, you must be awfully tired. Would nah. you consider lying down and closing your eyes? No, nah, I'm just like thinking a bit, you know. Holy shit! <laughs> right, I get my, I, I take out of my bag. You go downstairs for your continental <laughs> breakfast. And as you were sleeping, when you would look up, it just seemed like these hollow eyes were just like staring at you, like just Russ, darkness. If you're not a doctor, would you at least see an optician, please, <laughs> for me? I think you might be sick. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I've been rubbing my balm on me. I see you skin kind of starting to fall off <laughs> where the bomb has gone on um you guys go downstairs for your continental breakfast yes uh you're having a lovely croissant a yogurt fucking 14 sausage rolls and you know way too much fruit but it's it's a buffet so you obviously go absolutely nuts you, you don't know when your next meal is going to be yeah you know typical hotel life and all of a sudden you see uh, Jurgen Klopp run in, who <laughs> is uh, a gif. He's he's a hippo man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, fuck, why did I say that? What's a hippo man voice? <laughs> oh, I'm Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 Forgive me, but I, every time I speak, I have to do that. Can you guys help? The tip jar. It's been stolen. You guys, I heard you talking with Calindria. You guys are like heroes. Can you, can you, can you help the tip jar? I, I reckon it's got awful tea skills. They've been, they've been causing trouble. The boss said she would. <laughs> the boss said she just she would pay them off, but like you know, he's no. She they they came around like asking for like you know protection money or whatever the the term is. And Calendra was like, I'm not gonna pay that. And and now they they stolen our tip our tip jar. It was real fancy. I well yeah, let's go kill some people. I could, I could wet my blades now if I needed to this morning. I could use the exercise. Oh, 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 oh I mean, yeah, I guess 
that's a reasonable response to a minor theft. <laughs> Let's get with the violence. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, give me insight checks, part of you. Nineteen. I only have a plus one, but I rolled really well. <laughs> nice. Twelve. From on top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got numbers um, on it. <laughs> From this angle, it's just like an inf infinite glass dimension when you're looking at it obliquely. <laughs> uh, Jesse, you realize that, or you kind of get at the feeling that he seems a little taken aback by how quickly you guys have just jumped straight to violence. <laughs> um, have you seen D&D campaigns? It's yeah, no, no, no. Well but used to it. But like. he, he's just a little bit like, oh, I wasn't expecting such a firm response um uh, yes yes what did he smell like oh well i guess i'm a gif and i've got a big nose so i can smell things good he smelled like shit <laughs> no like literal shit <laughs> like like in the sewers where teas would hang out <laughs> breakfast for the triplets oh they don't eat shit <laughs> ew no. Okay. <laughs> but they eat thieves. Oh, God. You see, he looks so oh, worried. That would explain the rapidly declining crime rate back at home. Yes. Oh. You're welcome. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Morally vague. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I would suggest going to the sewers and looking for them. Ah. Is there a railroad that would take us down there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you actually just get into and you see, you see, yeah, he goes to like the one side of the, the end that you haven't been on. You guys have been in like a nice, like, you know, like not like a booth, but you know, like one of those kind of like VIP areas that's like in like, you know, some like bars and stuff. Um, and you got like the other end of that and there's like three doors. And he's like, oh, if you actually, and like in front of each door, just like a little mine cart. Mm. Um, you guys go into just mine cart number one here. Um, I bet this should take you to the sewers. And tell me, where do mine cart number two and three go? Oh, I don't know. Then why do would you wall. include that detail? I'm taking mine cart two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you go into mine cart two. Where? What cart do you go into? Well, there's so many of us. We're probably gonna have to get into multiple mine yeah, carts. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, we'll all get into mine cart one though. Just yeah. in a big old pile. Okay. Um, he's like, okay, good luck hunting the thieves. And he like presses, the, he like tugs like a rope from the ceiling. The, the doors open up, uh, the minecarts start to move, and they all just move onto the same track. <laughs> <laughs> and leave, leave you down a while. And what you, you, what you find a little bit odd is that. Sorry, Dylan, we find all of this very odd. Yes, I know, but like a little bit even more odder. <laughs> Is that like otters are down here? <laughs> a, a town beside a river, probably not big enough to have a sewers. Yeah. Mm. Um. But you see that there is like a a manhole cover, like like that's like slightly askew. What do you do? <laughs> I think we should jump off the minecart and go into that manhole cover. Yeah. Might as well. Right. That's what we do. So. Teenage mutant ninja turtle style. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you remember our run-in with those ninja turtles? Yeah, their pizza was real good. Yes, it's a shame we had to kill that rat on them, though. But it yeah. was good money. Seemed like he was sneaking up on them. They got real upset about that. Yeah, well, you know, it was better for them in the end. He was definitely... Why was he wearing a purple robe? Oh, yeah, he was a very edgy rat. You go de you're having this conversation as you descend into the sewers. He's just playing the game on your own at this point. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to come up with so many bullshit ways to get you into these sewers. <laughs> um, you come across, you're, you're, you're going through, um, I was going to have you roll like survival checks, but fuck it. You Can I do something actually useful for you? I, please. <laughs> Can I look out for some thieves can't? Yeah, you know what? That would be that would be great. I give you that. Yeah, um, yeah. Just give me give me a perception check. I'm also gonna cast light on Benny's head. Sure. Yeah. Great. And have him walk out in the front. Ooh, excellent. Twenty two. Twenty two. Um, you find 
a load of thieves can't. But it is... Like beginners, thieves can't. If that makes sense, it's like it's I, like if someone was like just learning a language, I it would know be like what's happened. It would be like very basic. She's tried phrases. to recreate the town, and she doesn't know thieves can't. So she's doing her very best. And you, you basically follow like you know the, the very clearly marked directions to like thieves guild, yeah, uh, hideout. And as yeah, you, she's trying to have us redo an adventure. She's, she's, yes. It's honestly, I think the adventure we should have here is an adventure in therapy. Mm. And as you follow this, follow the very clear signs of Calendria's like set out adventure for you. Uh, you first come across like a big series of pipes. So you're kind of you know, going through like typical sewers, and then like over this like really like large chasm, like real like nasty looking sludge at the bottom it's about, like 60, did it, did it. Yeah, it's about like 60 feet um long and there's like six pipes like going along the way as if you like walk across them as if it's like elden ring or something like that you know yeah. or the mario movie or the mario movie yeah. yeah yeah um this took us to brooklyn and they're all like <laughs> they're all like <laughs> over Morales overlapping and like you know like crisscrossing on like through each other, over each other, under each other. It's quite the labyrinth, isn't um, it? What would you like to do? And you see that the Thieves Guild like messages are pointing uh, like, you know, beyond it. Do you have class bullshit to get you through this? Because I have class bullshit to get me through this. Uh, and do you guys have dark vision? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll say uh, about 30 feet um into so about halfway across you see that there is like kind of like a meeting point of all the pipes and then they all kind of separate off again into new ones hmm. so there's like you know one big solid pipe in the middle like horizontal to you they all lead kind of connect to that and then leave further on oh, so it. they're all just leading us down one path Yes, all the pipes that you look at seem as if they're going to lead to that central pipe, and then there's six more pipes that lead you onto like the following. Uh, how platform. big? How big are the pipes? About five feet wide, enough for you to. Well, I mean, maybe not five, but like two or three foot wide, enough that you could like walk on it, you know, single file. Would you want to break one open and see what's inside? Can we see the platform on the other side? Yes. We shall. We just misty step over Let's there. Let's just then. teleport to it. Yeah, we misty step to the platform. <laughs> the middle one. Because Misty was what, 30 feet? I could also dimension doors. <laughs> yeah, well, you know that old story. <laughs> really, in my old age, I don't have Actually, time for this Actually, it feels like we can anymore. just walk to it. I've already done so much walking. <laughs> <laughs> Is that gnome around? Do you think I could pay him to just carry me like through Like, we, we haven't felt any danger yet for me to be doing dimension door. Hmm. All right, fine. Let's walk. We walk to the center platform. What pipe are you going across? The red one. They're uh, they're all the same color. They're conveniently labeled one to six. <laughs> <laughs> which pipes do you go across? And which one's the big one? I'm going down. They're below. all the same size. They all go. They link into a central big one. We're going on pipe number five. <laughs> um, who's going first? Oh, I will. But I'm going to be very sneaky. Give me a dexterity saving throw. It's not a problem for me, really. No. That is 20. You... You're just so nimble and light on your feet that you basically, like, walk and step onto this pipe. You realize it's not there, and your foot kind of just dips down, oh, and you I just, just perfectly... spin around and catch the lip and pull you, myself Yeah, you, like, this. not even phase. You're just like, oh, typical illusionary pipe. <laughs> Just like that time in Mirrorville. <laughs> <laughs> um, and pipe number five seems to be completely incorporeal. Danny, shoot an arrow at each of the other pipes. You shoot an arrow at each of the pipes, all, uh, but one of them is an illusion. Number four seems to be a solid pipe. Looks like we're just going to walk on number four. Sounds like a plan to me. Yep. Uh, you get across to this little middle section, this kind of big, long, solid pipe. Uh, same thing. There's six pipes all going to the other side. Danny, shoot an arrow at all the pipes. Yeah, nice. You do the same thing at, at, number, at number two this time. Uh, you get across. There's like a door 
um, at the other side. Uh, and you hear some voices from inside. Do you want to give me perception checks to, or what would you like to do to, with this knowledge? Um, can I roll a stealth check mm -hmm. to try and get it? close enough that I can hear and see what's going on. Yeah, of course. Give me one. I am the knight. Uh, if you have a stealth check, you can you push proficient, so you can just take 10. I know, but now I've got 29 on my result. Uh, yeah, that's fucking that. high. <laughs> <laughs> I actually stop existing yeah. five seconds back down the timeline. Um, yeah, you, you're able to get right up to the door, press your ear against it in complete silence, um, kind of the only noise around is like just like the, the creaking of Danny's bones and stuff like knocking off each other um, you uh, you hear from inside the door being like yo I think they are I think, I think they're on the way what are, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and like someone's like what? you know what to do we're stopping getting in to see the boss that's what that's what, that's what, what we're gonna do so everyone get your positions okay Just, we're gonna, we're gonna ambush them. We're gonna, we're gonna get them. Right. Well, it would seem that there is an ambush on the other side of the door. So why don't we do what we usually do, and we'll get our summons and that out now? Yeah. I, I've got a new one. Is that right? Yeah. So there's this guy named Don. Don. And uh, he says that uh, he always gets real upset, saying that uh, uh, the Lich Queen took from him what was rightly his. That sounds involved. And so now he 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 hangs out because he says it's that he's keeping an eye on me <laughs> because because I was in his because the thing that was his was in his grasp, but that I took it away with the Lich Queen. All right. Well, it sounds. I don't like really know what he's talking about. I'd probably keep a half eye on Don. It sounds like he might want to try and murder you. I don't know. He says he's just hanging out until it's my time. But, uh... Yeah, again, that to me sounds overtly threatening. That would be enough to bring a suit to him, I think. But see, check this out. And I flip my, my, my obsidian tablet over, and I scrawl on it what is clearly like a pentagram, you know, symbol. And then I, like, kind of go into this weird, like, thing, and I do this chanting in, like, Latin or <laughs> whatever. And then yes, yes. a portal to hell opens up, and a barbed <laughs> devil comes out. Oh, right. And... <laughs> Now, you do realize this is a devil, yes? <laughs> just just to step back, because you're very involved and you're in this situation, so I'm going to just give you some fresh eyes here and let you know that you've summoned a devil. Mortals, you have summoned Would you me. shut the fuck up, please, for one second? We're trying to be oh, quiet. Uh, another one. One of your other friends. I'm trying to do this whole thing. Ross, you want to be called Ross, and... Every time I don't get to do my cool devil thing, I've got to be like this all the time. Is, is that how it is? Yeah, we've seen it all. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do that's going to do because I'm a sneaky boy. Oh, a sneaky boy. <laughs> Actually, if you want to know what I am, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a digital businessman and I own an owlery. And speaking of, I'm going to um, I'm gonna summon one of my owls, Spectral Owl. Uh, out comes Houdini. Houdini. What demon are you, bird? No, Houdini. Okay. What demon are you, bird? I am the great demon of sloth, Abaddon! Ah, nah, your name's Don. Get over it. We all go by short <laughs> names around here. Right, Don. Well, listen, we're just about to do an ambush. If you wouldn't mind just getting in line, it's not all about yeah, you. You're hearing from the other door. No, they're, they're clearly outside. I, I think one of them just jumped a fucking devil, dude. <laughs> Right, we're we... <sighs> fine. We've fucking blown the thing, so that, that's fucking fine. I right, I'm gonna, I'm going to, um, I gotta cast <laughs> invisibility on myself. Just open the door. <laughs> oh, the fucking door just opened by itself, dude. <laughs> right, I'm not okay. fucking ready for this. <laughs> you see that like there's like six dudes in there with like you know, um. They all have like you know like face masks and like hoods up that just say like Thieves Guild across standard <laughs> fucking standard cult <laughs> NPC one. Okay, <laughs> <Yeah>. bye. <laughs> and like some they're all like really like weedily holding their bows. They're like oh, fucking fire, dude. And they all like let go and everyone's uh, <laughs> rolling this shit up. <laughs> Eighteen. 13 for me, and I'll just do all my dudes at once. Yes, pl please do. <laughs> oh, I have to roll for Houdini as well, don't I? And uh, 9 for my dudes. Uh, does Houdini just share my modifier, does he? No, he has his own. 
Oh, fuck. I don't have a stat sheet. I'd be like two. Yeah, well, then he's seven. Okay. Uh, Jess, I forgot what your character name. There's too many names being thrown around in this fucking game. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Jesse, you're up first. Um, well, I'm going to summon. I have my, my... Can I say that I've... I've already summoned out my sure yeah my you guys have shadow blade well or a lot enough time to kind of get whatever preparations you just want to yeah do. cool so i'm just gonna find the first one and kill him um <laughs> i think i'm gonna do the uh the, the the old i call it the wombo combo i just i briefly step out from the shadows drop my invisibility and i shank him two times with a sneak attack yeah so i lose my shadow blade and my enchanted short sword uh, that's 26 to hit. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, it's... <laughs> so I've, lo- I've lost count. Bear with me. That's that's 45 plus 18 damage on this thieves kill. Plus 18? Yeah. <laughs> 63 points of damage? <laughs> yes. You see, you just, like, emerge from the shadows. You see, like, a couple of, like, a couple of them, like, let loose their arrows, like, you know, almost as soon as the, the door opened, but, like, they just like went completely wide. Oh no, we well know. Like, open the door invisibly and roll into the room. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they open it. Like, they don't see anyone. They're like, "Oh, it's, it's a fucking ghost, dude!" And you just like your sword just like appears, like protruding from one of their chests, and they're like, Aah! and they all start fucking freaking out. They're like, "Oh, what the fuck? They just killed." They just killed Jeremy. They just killed Jeremy. Ah, ah. They all start screaming as like loud as they can, as if they like they're just so freaked out. And it's their turn, and they all just they all start running away. They like there's like some like side door that they all just like start like running towards. But like the first one like oh no, he like managed to like open it properly. Like at first it's like it he thinks it's a push, and so there's like a press of bodies, and but he managed to kind of just like just about open the door. <laughs> I, I kind of command the owl to close the door, <laughs> <laughs> and they're and they're all kind of they like clumped up in like in this room at the door. <laughs> Russ, it's your turn. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm like, now I've been working on my boxing too. You want to see this? That's right, you've taken up a sport. Yeah, so check out this one-two punch. And uh, I'm going to grab all six of my D20s here. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, For everyone at home, I don't think we actually said this. Uh, The guys are playing level 13 characters. (laughs) Just slightly over halfway to maximum. Yeah. (laughs) Well, with a plus 11... Good gravy. My I'm going to tell you right now that their AC is 12. All right. Well, I've hit so, on all of these. So unless you get a nat one, you've hit. <laughs> well, all those hit. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven D10s. Yeah. That's just a fuck ton of damage. It's all on one dude, and it's necrotic. Oh, one person? <laughs> <laughs> is your whole build just fuck no. that one guy in particular no I could have hit six different ones <laughs> yeah you should, s- I, should I do that instead I think it's more fun I think, no, I'm, I'm just blast one dude with necrotic damage <laughs> you see it also blasts him away for every time it's hit <laughs> is this, what, what, what spell is this it's just Eldritch Blast yeah doesn't it it, no, it has knockback doesn't it yeah it has yeah, knockback yeah. 10 feet you per hit you see that like <laughs> see what you you're see, sending back. You see Russ. Like 80 feet. <laughs> you see Russ kind of just like lift it forward his, his arms. The bracers on his like wrist like, you know, glow up with this like dark necrotic energy. Just like black shadowy necrotic energy goes out. Just like starts like le- like leaking into this like one dude's like just every orifice in his body. Like his eyes and ears and his nose all just like suck up this like nasty necrotic energy and he just explodes <laughs> it's like it's like tro- it's like Rem's body gets thrown back way through the door well, and everyone's come- like ah, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's that's your turn it's now your dudes indeed there, sir there's, there's four left <laughs> indeed sir I'm, I'm not sure if uh if we should be killing these they just seem to be running well I mean, we can have some fun. I think it's, I think it's just fun. I think it's just an illusion. Oh, all right, sir. And, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna attack. Sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, actually, all those hit. <laughs> yeah. 
Hell Supreme. Yeah. <laughs> so the devil throws two fireballs. Sure. Yeah. Um, and the other ones just rush forward in this mad rage. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, Danny Boy is standing back with his bow and he fires a bow. Okay. All dainty like. Um, I, I like to think Danny Boy would have like a crossbow if he's a butler. He just like very politely fucking <laughs> yes, load yes, the yes. thing, crank it up and take a pot <laughs> shot. <laughs> Uh, and tell me this, uh, is this all going on one person again? Or is, is this like a, a, a mob attack on the remaining this, mob? Uh, is this all going okay. on the remaining yeah. mob? And that's another uh, 32 uh, points of damage distributed. Yeah, they're, <laughs> However, they're, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're all just fucking wiped out. Um, yeah, you you get through... And you, uh, there's like only like one way out, essentially. And yeah, you just your your guys just mob them, tear them to shreds, start feasting on them, you know whatever they're doing. Um, and there is a the ghoul's bite. It's real scary. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, and my you owl does if it hits, it does one d one damage. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, there is. Um, Quite actually a, quite a large door uh, at the end. It's like, you know, like a, a double door. Clearly, clearly a, like a boss fight door. Yeah. You know, um, what do you do? I mean, same job. This is all seeming a little tedious. Like, uh, I'm a bit worried about our friend. I, I think she's really put a lot of effort into this. And I've got an idea. Okay. Yeah. Now. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna take care of this real quick, and of uh, and one of my one of my guys just grabs your hand and goes, "You will stay here with us." Okay. I'm just gonna go through the door. Yeah. And as I do, I'm gonna pull back my hood. Okay. And whatever guy's in there, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna be like, "You will stop, and you will tell me what is going on, and who put you up to this, and why you are doing this." And I'm going to intimidate them in my dread form. Okay. With just your dread form is just taking off your hood? Yeah. <laughs> As you, you do, walk do forward. Do I see this? Uh, you see him taking off his hood. It depends on what hair is left to maybe like, because you're, you're going to see him from behind. So you can't quite see his like mm. and full. And I'd be, the light would be in front of me. So, so. I just see a silhouette of, yeah. yeah. You open the door and... You can still say this if you want, but I'm going to paint the scene of what, what's in here first. Okay. So from your perspective, Jesse, Russ goes forward, strides forward, pushes open these big double doors. Yeah, yeah. Obviously pushing them inwards like Aragorn. Like Aragorn yeah. entering the keep. Yes. Um, and you see he's silhouetted. Um, like an alien coming into like the Like an ship. alien going in you see kind of just the you know the back of him Finger walking forward death. but you see e. T. this in the room. <laughs> giant eye in the middle of the room floating with lots of eye stalks and as the beholder's cone of anti-magic pushes through the wall you through the door you see all of the animated skeletons and zombies suddenly go inert, the magic no longer affecting them. And you see this beholder goes, fuck about time, so let's get with it. <laughs> well, she's only done and hired a beholder. Now, this is just too much. This uh, is entirely too much. But I've still done this. I've yelled at it. Absolutely. And we're going to find out what happens on the next episode. Nice. Oh, I'm really enjoying this one. <laughs> this is fun. <sighs> I told you it was going to be very different and very kooky. But yep. we'll talk about this on the Backstage Pass. Yeah. I need you to stop. So. <laughs>